Okay, let's learn how to combine MPEG-3 audio files, e-text, and images into a customized audiobook with text that can be played on iTunes for Windows or Mac and then copied to a mobile device such as an iPhone or iPod Touch. We'll first go to the website LibriVox.org and we'll download the actual audio files first. Always look for a zip archive to do it all at once. So we'll control click or right click on this particular icon and we'll put it into a folder called audiobooks. Already there to save time, I won't go through that process. Uh, and then in here I'll go to Gutenberg eText to locate the text that actually goes with the audio. And then we'll look for something that has a zip archive right here. Again, right or control click to download the file. We're going to put it into a folder called audiobooks. Again, to save time, I'll cancel out of that. And then you'll also want to look for some cover art to add to your audiobook. We'll do a find for that. And in this case, we'll bring up the image file and we'll save that image to a folder called audiobooks. Finally, I'll cancel out of that. So now all those materials are added uh, to a folder and we're ready to go into iTunes. And in this case here, I'm going to delete what was already done before. Uh, so we'll start from scratch. We'll go into the music uh, category. Uh, by the way, you want to go to iTunes Preferences to be sure that Audiobooks is checked because that's ultimately where those files will end up being organized into your Audiobooks category. So I'm going to open up the folder and look for the zip archive, Call of the Wild. Uh, there are actually six separate files, so you'll have to expand that archive, of course. We'll highlight those files. We'll pull it in to iTunes. And at the same time, we're going to open up the actual Gutenberg text. Again, you want to expand that zip archive. And what I want to do is I want to copy, scroll down here and copy chapter 1. And so I'll go down through chapter 1. Highlight that. Copy. Close the window to get it out of the way. I'm going to go into the first track and choose File Get Info or Open Apple I or Control I for Windows to bring up the info button for this particular track. And I'm going to go into the Lyrics tab and I will paste in the actual lyrics. So you can actually listen to the uh, text. Uh, you can listen uh, and uh, read at the same time. So I'll click OK. And I will repeat the process for each one of these tracks. Uh, but in this particular case, uh, what I'll do is actually bring up the tracks when they're already done. So on to the next process. OK. So now we have all of the files uh, with the Lyrics tab uh, filled with the chapters for each uh, of the chapters in the Call of the Wild from the Gutenberg eText. And I've also added a table of contents. That wasn't part of the actual recorded file. So what I did is I had the computer actually synthesize that. And that's a subject of another tutorial on how to synthesize text with a computer. But so now we have all those files together. And the key is to select them all. And then again, choose that Get Info button and it will bring them all up together. And in this case here, I want to check the track number and make sure that box is left empty. We don't want the track number in there uh, for a reason so that when you do play it on an iPod or iTouch that you'll actually get the title of the track and not the actual number itself. And so in here I'm going to put in Jack London for the artist, album artist Jack London, and for the album Call of the Wild. And next, I'm going to put in uh, books and spoken as a category. If you had a compilation of different articles, of course, you could vary the artist's name, uh, and uh, that would be OK. But for album, artist, and album, that has to be the same for each and every single track for this to work. We click on Options. We choose Media Kind equals Audiobook. Remember Position, yes. And Skip When Shuffling, yes. And that takes care of those categories. And then we want to add artwork. So we'll go down into our folder here. And if you recall, we downloaded that. Uh, so I'll take uh, the artwork. Actually, this is a different one than the one I showed you. But this will work. And so we'll add this into the artwork box. And once that is done, you click OK. And everything seems to disappear. And that's because it's now gone into the audiobooks category. If I click the grid view, you now have a customized audiobook ready to go. And so you can play that in iTunes, uh, and you can play it as, again, on a mobile device and a recording.